you know? And as I'm thinking about all of this, I'm also thinking to my fucking self, you know, I, I started talking to in, in about the fucking, the whole cliff scenario and who brought me there, right? And there was another scenario with Danny Flynn and fucking, and Chris Amore, which was interesting because that was one of the fucking times that fucking Walter, the Wallster wasn't around. But it was the same fucking time as the fucking cliff scenario with the fucking FBI people being fucking buried. The fucking FBI approaching me. That was around about fucking two weeks prior to the fucking... To what, when they came to talk to me about a fucking pizza place. And I started talking about another fucking pizza place. And they were like, wait a minute, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this pizza place. So you're telling me this pizza place too? Fucking two fucking pizza places. The one out here and the one all the way in fucking you motherfuckers. And that's why that motherfucker was contacting me. That motherfucker that, that told me straight to my face and killed the fucking girl because of Wolster and fucking Chris Amore and fucking Danny Flynn and fucking all the rest of them. You motherfuckers. <coughs> This fucking shit, wow, wow, wow. But then, there was also the fucking place that during that whole fucking period of time, when I said the story about how I was smoking a joint on a very quiet road where I could see fucking anything coming from any direction and the two people that came out of fucking nowhere that fucking were fucking federal agents, you motherfucker, you motherfuckers. That was the same fucking place where I ended up getting a job with Mr. Bongiorno. Huh? Mr. Bongiorno, that fat fuck. And you know who else was working for him? Juan. The same guy that's fucking doing the repairs around here. The same mother... Woof. Woof. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, how's this gonna go, the next fucking thing that's gonna need to be fucking done? How the fuck is this gonna go? Because it's gonna end with me dying, you motherfuckers. Yo, my fucking cousin was almost raped up the fucking block. Yo, 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 fucking yo. You know why they were there? Because they knew about the fucking bodies over in that area too. That's why they were fucking saying, it has to be you. We're gonna catch you. We're gonna fucking catch you. It wasn't me, and you knew it wasn't me, because those fucking cliffs, when you came to talk to me about it with the fucking dead federal agents, you were like fucking, yo, holy shit, they're trying to turn him into the fucking holy shit killer. Now, you motherfuckers, without me even realizing any of this was fucking completely fucking real, then all of a sudden I need a job. My mother bumps into some guy that offers me a fucking job, right? But my car doesn't work. So then my mother has to be the one to drive me to the place and drop me the fuck off. Wow. Wow. And when I needed a fucking ride at fucking... At, because we worked until the fucking nighttime and, you know... At the time that I had the fucking job that stayed daylight fucking until fucking, yeah. And then fucking why I just worked the fucking 16 hour day. They were expecting me to fucking walk from fucking, from fucking point A to fucking point B, which was like fucking 12, 14, 15 miles, right? Meanwhile, the fucking guy Juan at the time was fucking packing in like 12 fucking Mexicans into his fucking vehicle. 8 fucking to 12 fucking Mexicans into his fucking vehicle to fucking give them a lift home. But you couldn't fucking squeeze when you had fucking... And you couldn't even squeeze me in to get me to fuck close to my fucking house. You were going in the same fucking direct bullshit. Fucking bullshit. This whole fucking thing is bullshit. The fucking thing... Yo, yo. Fuck yous. Fuck yous. I want my goddamn fucking bulletproofed everything. I want my army tanks. I want my goddamn motherfucking vehicles. I want my Batmobile. I want my goddamn guns with the bullets that say CEO, AXO. I want the goddamn everything, you motherfuckers. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And you're telling me. That none of you fucking cocksuckers were smart enough to figure out that the fucking bitch Chimera that was from the first fucking whacked out situation, fucking, you, you're telling me that you couldn't figure out that that bitch during the second fucking situation was the one fucking pulling the side strings? You motherfuckers.